What troubles you today, my son? Um, it's not easy for me to say this, Leon, but is there any way I could postpone my contribution to the congregation just until next month? It, cash is just a little tight for me. Julian, do you think I would be where, where I am today with an attitude like that? With that approach to life? Would I be the household name I am today? Making such excuses. Work harder, Julian. And quite frankly, do better. I'm sorry. Good morning, Leon. Um, I'm happy to be able to tell you that I've been working nonstop every day and I've been able to come up with a really good contribution to the congregation. Julian, do you hate God? Then why do you defile his presence with contributions fit for the pockets of a beggar? I've been working hard. No, you sit. Continue. It has become excruciatingly clear that your faith is nothing but a hindrance in your life. In order to redeem yourself in the eyes of this congregation, your contributions must become more generous. Hey, Julian, my dear, one last thing. In your leave of absence, do be sure to keep your contributions coming. The Lord will know that you have truly turned your back on him if your contributions dry up just as your faith clearly has. Good morning and welcome. Today we have a very special guest here, famed pastor and televangelist, the great Leon El Santo. Thank you so much for being here, Leon. Now first, I'd like to ask you a pretty tough question from the start. What would you say to those who believe that a pastor such as yourself should not be living a life of luxury? I would say that, uh, <laughs> I would say that we have far more important matters to discuss than my personal life. Uh, we're in the midst of a mass critical spiritual failure, Martin. Uh, quite frankly, most of the folks I encounter these days, they, they follow religion, my brand of religion, but they don't have the will to commit. Greed ravages the souls of the uninitiated. More interested in funding their hedonistic lifestyles, rather than an honest pursuit for once in their lives. 
And what does that mean in practice for members of your congregation? There is no more honest pursuit than turning the sweat of your brow into pure appreciation for your savior. The true believers in my congregation understand the journey I lead them on is to bring them closer to the Holy Spirit. I stand on the back of my flock as to bring them the warmth of God's divine light. Some deceivers tried to lead them astray, saying that how having my congregants reflect the fruits of their labor back into their place of worship is an issue, calling me a conman, a scammer, a fraud. These are the words of those who hate God. Now, Leon, tell me, what should happen to these so-called deceivers? The liars, the frauds, the uh, conmen will all be met with flames when God has his way. The home of controversial televangelist Leon El Santo caught fire this morning with reports indicating that the blaze was started by a lit cigarette dropped inside the property. While his church was untouched by the unknown assailant, a representative of his claims that he kept his congregate's donations in cash on property, meaning the millions of dollars were lost in the fire. The estate itself, his private jet, his cars, and many of the other lavish assets found in and around his congregation are reportedly funded by these donations from his congregants. More tonight, only on Action News.